What's up, guys? So, I hope you have a great Sunday morning and wake up refreshed. So, today, um, it's the big day of the test um, that I will be taking. Um, I don't know how many questions going to be on there, but I'm looking for it because I really studied hard for it and learned a lot and This this was about just continuing to grow. So right now we're just car wash and head to church. You have purchased the regular wash. You may enter the wash if it is ready. Was that the guy from the store talking? No, we're the computer. Oh. Well, yeah, but I definitely talk to you. We'll talk to you later at the we uh get from the store. Back at the house from. Uh, from church and church was awesome um uh two different churches that we went to calvary and um cathedral and with calvary the message was powerful um talking about like knowing who we are in the body of christ and what is our purpose of serving within our church and God gave, God gave us all talents um, and gifts that we can continue to build the kingdom. So it definitely one statement that the pastor was that really stuck out to me. Oh wow, that's a deer! A deer just crossed the road. So. So, um, what I was saying, well, so what Pastor Ron, who, um, when he was saying about, um, definitely want to hear God say, uh, what did you do with your gift? And I was thinking about that, about what, what if, uh, if we in front of God, when it's our time and God asks us, what did we do with our gift? And that definitely uh, stuck out for me because he gives us gifts and talents to continue to help others and build the kingdom. And I definitely want to hear those words. And, um, from God and with the other church um, with Cathedral I learned that um, about allowing God to come in our hearts more and allowing him to remove things and as with us making room for him so that way he can change and move things around so that way we can be more active as a team with God and because the love is always there and sometimes we we end up putting up a wall and it blocks God from coming in our heart of from the things that we're dealing with. But when we get to the point that we allow God back in, that's when the healing comes. That's when the forgiveness comes. And that's when we start acting different. And 
being more active in the things of the Lord. And that's what I learned today about from the other church. Um, who, are, who are we um, as we serve in the church and from the other church of allowing God to remove things in our hearts and allow him to come in our hearts and make room and change things because he knows what's best for us because he created us and we can't think that we know more than him when we don't because our plan is already made it just we end up trying to manipulate our road and try to create a road that that was not in God's plan and when we get to the point that we trust God's plan what he has for our life we start to realize that we start to realize how great we, are, we really are because we are in his hands, his guidance, his love, and we can cruise peacefully on our road when we allow him to take control and because we're too amazing to continue to ride on our road bumpy bumpy and feeling like it's okay when we we know that what we handling on our road is not okay and when we just trust him on our road of what we're going through we start to uh, feel the road a lot smoother and a lot uh, more peaceful and relaxing. And even though, because the devil, uh, the enemy's always going to try to put eight, anything on our road because he don't want us to get closer to God. And he's going to try his best to remove anything. And that's why we got to guard our hearts, stay in the word, and just do the best that we can with the God. And stay prayed up. And just giving it all to him. Because each day, it's another opportunity to change something with God not changing it by ourselves but changing it with him and when we allow him to come in our hearts we, we're going to we're not going to be bothered with all, the, all these emotions that we're going through because of what we allow him to come in we allow him to fix the things that we've been trying to fix on our own, on our road, and thinking that we got the right GPS, and God has the right GPS for our life because it's our plan is already, it's already set for our life. So I just wanted to encourage you with what I learned, and I love you. God loves you. And I gotta edit this video so it can go on today. And I check back in with y'all later. And um, definitely don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Peace. I'm out.